lot of question about the grading system for Oregon Sunstone. It is a rather difficult stone to grade because there's so many different variations. In working with gemologists and appraisers, we have fine-tuned the grading system. My name's Don Buford. I'm one of the owners of Dust Devil Mining Company. This is my 20th year in the high Oregon desert mining Oregon Sunstone. Terry Clark and Steve Hackler, who are two of my partners, sat down with the first major parcel of stones that we had cut and developed a grading system because there was no grading system for Oregon Sunstone. We were very, very critical of the stones and came up with four different categories for red or green or red-green bicolor and three different categories for pink shiller. Today I'm going to give some examples of the variations and how I determine what grade they are. When grading these stones, first of all, you deal with the quality of the stone, the saturation of color, the amount of shiller or lack of shiller in the stone, and the artist who did the stone. The simplest, of course, is the champagnes, which have just a very, very pale yellow color, we call them clears. Uh, the little bit of yellow is caused by minute quantities of iron, uh, and some of them will have a very, very small amount of copper in it called pink shiller. The next grade that we would have would be the A-grade shiller, which the shiller is the copper platelets that lie between the lattices. An A-grade shiller is one that has a lot of copper in it but is not a real, real bright stone. They're, they're pretty, but they don't have a lot of flash to them. The double A shiller is a little bit brighter stone, but may have a little bit of zoning or uh, some problem that would keep it from being a, a higher grade stone. Zoned stone is a stone that has color over most of the stone, but as you look at it and turn it slightly, you may see that there's a clear spot in it. Uh, it may, may be that you see it face up or you may have to tip the stone a little bit. Uh, zoning will lower a stone grade by at least one grade and possibly more depending on how bad it is. This stone, this red-green bicolor, is a zoned stone and that would lower the value of this stone because it has clear stone in it. This stone is a high dome cabochon. It is a very, very well done stone. It's a triple A, and that would be the, the best of what Scheller comes in. The stone here is another freeform cabochon, and it's got red, green, and pink Scheller bars in it. This is a very, very rare combination and in a very, very well done stone, I would place this at the 4A level on cabochons. Generally speaking, cabochons like this one or carvings like this one will sell for 60% of the price that a faceted stone would sell. However, a unique stone like this or this would sell at the same price that a faceted stone would sell. This piece is a triple A shiller, and on the inside of it, there is fit a 3A red. Shiller is the least expensive of our colored stones, but the size of this stone makes it very unique, and the fact that it's carved into a flower with a red center makes it even more unique. This stone would be in the 3A Schiller range plus the 3A red uh, range, which would make it a, a high grade stone. And because this was done by one of the top gemstone artists in the world, it would add value to it because of the artist. This is something that is fairly new to the gemstone world, where people are doing very unusual stones. The appraisers are starting to say that you need to put the name of the artist down with the stone 
and that it'll be more valuable if the artist has won a lot of competitions, the same as a painting by Picasso would be worth a lot more than a, a painting that somebody copied. We then go into the reds, and we have the A red, which may have some Schiller in it, but the color is predominantly red. The saturation uh, will be less than the higher grade stones, and it will have pretty good flash to it, but won't be a super bright stone. The double A reds, uh, this one is a double A bicolor, but the what you're seeing is the red. The Double A will be a stone that has a little bit better saturation of color, meaning the, the redder the stone, the better, as long as it has some clarity to it. The, the Schiller is something that has some effect on the stone, but not a negative effect. A triple A red or bicolor or green is a very, very well saturated stone, has very good color, is a a well-cut stone and doesn't have any zoning. It could possibly have a little bit of Schiller in it if that Schiller makes the stone more attractive and more unique. Over here we have some examples. Here is a red-green bicolor and all green Oregon sunstones are dichroic. That means that the same spot of color in the stone will be green on one axis it will be red on one axis, and the third axis can be either red or green. If it, the third axis is pink, then it's called trichroic. This is a very, very rare phenomena that uh, very few stones in the world display. The other thing about these red and green stones is that if cut properly, they sometimes will color change just like good alexanderite. In the, the red category, we have a 4A red, which is perfect red color and no zoning whatsoever, perfectly cut, and may have a Schiller bar or feather that runs across the table of the stone that actually makes it a prettier stone than it would be otherwise. A well-cut 4A red sunstone will look like it has a light inside of it glowing out. After we came up with this grading system, a publication called The Guide, which keeps track of wholesale prices uh, for gemstones all over the world, uh, used our system for appraising stones and setting a value on wholesale stones. Once you've had a stone appraised, if you don't believe that the appraiser was correct in their appraisal, you can send the stone to Carla Proud at Exotic Gemstones or to me at Dust Devil Mining Company and we will look over the appraisal and determine whether it was done correctly or not. Uh, we will do that for free once you've had an appraisal done uh, and only charge you for the shipping and insurance for getting the stone to us and back to you.